Hello and welcome, my name is Rob Chisholm. I'm going to talk to you today about rotoscoping and also choosing an app, an application for your your device. So the problem appears to be apps are you know really cheap, like five, ten pounds, maybe twenty pounds at a push. Um, and then the energy that's put into these seems to reflect sometimes, or from my personal experience, I spend the time learning how to use the app and go, ah, oh, didn't quite do what I want. So I spent a bit of time researching so I can share it with you, the viewers, on buying an app that may suit your needs. I'm not saying these three apps, which I'm going to show you now, which is um, Flipart here, and then Rough Animator, and then down the bottom here, Studio Motion. Those are the three that I've purchased, and those are the three that I'm going to cover. So we'll start here. Um, Studio Motion by Cat Eater um, is it's okay, you know, it's, I quite like it, I wouldn't knock it. Um, the thing I can't do, which I've expressed in other videos, is if I wanted to add as many layers as I want, I can do that, it's not a problem. I'll just select the layer. I can only zoom in and out, I can't rotate, and I'll put a picture up just to show you um, what what the method is I'm working at. So I'm going to actually just take that picture now and then you'll be able to see. So it's, it's a bit like that. Um, so I can't physically, well I could physically pick it up and rotate it but it's not quite the way I'm working. So it'd be a lot easier if I just rotate uh, the actual image, wouldn't it? It'd be good. The other other areas to mention are the brushes. There's there's no change in brush. All I can do is change the size. So these are quite important. And I found out today, I'll just uh, come out of this. If you were bringing in a, a project you filmed at 100 frames per second, um, you'd only get one second. The rest of the frames would be missing. Obviously, it only goes to 30 frames in this program. Uh, the developers allowed up to 30 frames after that it will be missing frames i don't know how many it might be every second frame we don't know so i couldn't tell you that information but you know it's okay it's not bad and you can it appears add as many layers as you wish so i'll just put them up there different backgrounds etc you can bring video in but you can't bring a still image in uh, so if you want to draw by hand that's fine but if you want to bring any information in now nah. so if I go to flip a clip this is the other one I've bought has some interesting features I quite like um, you can hide the whole entire video that's there like that it appears you can just add layers as many as you like um, you can't undo layers though there's no undo for undoing that so you have done do it there remove just take those out And what I do like about this one is if you've used Procreate or um, some of the uh, other drawing apps like, I'll uh, just show you, like, uh, where is it? Here we are, Sketchbook, that's what I was thinking of, Sketchbook there. If you use Sketchbook, uh, you probably like this. You can also, well, let's just highlight the layer, yeah. You can also, you can zoom in, you can rotate, do what you want. But also, you can do this. I can click on the pen. I can bring up four options, a pencil, a big paintbrush, ink pen, or a yellow marker. So those have more um, drawing feeling to it, rather than just a you know one item you can choose. The other little areas I like is if, I don't think you can name these, but if I start a new palette, and I like that particular colour, I'll just add plus. So add a few more. Like that. There's one, two, three, four, five. It's probably enough for what you need. So there's a lot more you could do in here. I've only had this a day, I point out as well. So we could make a video import. You've got lots of areas that you can get involved in. You can also, which I quite like, I think it's worthwhile uh, pointing out, you can, it says three days at the top here left, 
and what it's saying is enter, submit your um, inspiration, etc. They've got a really good forum, so it gives the impression there's a group of people there, um, and those people are probably really active, and I think it's worthwhile pointing out the the amount of money you pay for an app, five pounds or whatever, the developer doesn't get the five pounds, you know, it's watered down. It's probably only one person there who's actually working on that. So, uh, oops, how can I open, oh yeah, open it here. So these people give the impression that they're actually got a team of people working in there, uh, which gives me a bit sort of, scope with I, I've looked at their forum people have suggested ideas a bit like Luma Fusion or Procreate uh, you put an idea forwards and the developers get on and make it happen if it's something enough people want it so I think when you choose an app these are important areas you need to consider rather than blindly going in because once the developer gets bored and stops that's the end of it so you do need some driving force and a team of people is better than uh, just a few so there's a there's other tools here which i haven't really explored too much um, which i'll do in other little tutorials shall we say uh, this one here it just gives an, it's got audio um, it's quite cute so you know it just gives you an idea of what you can do and the other little app, uh, which is here, Rough Animator. I was unsure if to get this one, because uh, the interface is really, it looks like a 1990s flash, sort of outdated. It could be updated. Uh, it's, not, it's not bad. So you can bring in a single image there. Um, then from that, I just drew, draw that. So that's quite good. You can rotate, zoom in, do what you want. So that's quite useful. The colors you can add up to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And again, you would just hold, long hold, and the color arrives there, and then off you go. You can put in where the layers, um, the layers are, timeline, there you go. There's your timeline. Um, I don't think I can, See this top half here, it'd be nice if I could just uh, drag it down but I, or change the sizes. I think you're pretty much stuck with that or you go full screen. So out you go. Uh, when I brought videos in, this is where certain things change. So for example, and I'm not sure if I told you at the beginning, um, stop motion. If you set this up, this has got 30 frames, so you can have 30 frames. Uh, in your settings, there you go, 30 frames, so you can bring in a movie, but what happens if you film a butterfly at 100 frames, which is something I did, uh, uh, this only supports up to 100 frames, that means that supports one second, thereafter frames are missing, I don't know how many, but if you were painstakingly drawing this frame by frame, uh, once you hit 100 frames, then things may be missing, so it may be better just not to bring a video in and just draw it by hand. But you can't you can't rotate the image, remember. You have to stick stick as it is. Now, rough animator seems to take a long time to bring in 43 seconds. I suspect either it needs to be rewritten slightly or it is actually bringing in 100 frames per second uh, over 43 seconds. And I'm unsure of that, but there's something I'm asking. Uh, when I did... Flip a clip. When I brought in um, a project, it seemed to. I think it. I think it's going for every frame. I can't be sure. But out of all of them that I prefer, so far they've all got their little um, areas, niche areas of what's nice. Um, I, I think I prefer this one. Um, it's 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 a bit more like Procreate. That's how I'd look at it. So it's you change the size. You, you just seem to be working similar to that. It's a nicer draw and experience. The one thing you can't do though, if I was to press and hold um, here, and I want to select that color. That would be useful. Like Procreate, you can do that or double double tap, undo. No, you have to go up there. So. Every time I want to choose a colour, I will have to go and choose one uh, from from the list here. I'll have to go. Let's go and get that one. 
or I can go like that. There we go. Oops. Ah, oh, no. I would go. There we are. So if I wanted to choose a colour, I would have to do that that way. It'd be nice if I could just hold on the screen and uh, select that colour. Anyway, it's just to try and help you all understand your needs before you buy because there's nothing worse than spending all that time learning about these little apps which don't cost a lot of money to then find it doesn't suit your needs or there's something missing and just before I go I will point out that um, Studio Motion is uh, part of it is rotoscoping but it has other good functions as well which the others don't have at all which I'll go into in a different video many thanks that's Rob Chisholm thank you